YouTube, it's your boy Young Cow, and I'm back with another video. In today's video, we're gonna talk about my man's 216 Crisco and how he was allegedly caught stealing an iPhone. I think that was an iPhone, yeah, that was an iPhone. But anyway, look, y'all gotta quit acting like y'all never stole before or something like that, or he just like a bad person, or you feel me? Or he broke because he stole the phone. Man, look, just because he stole the phone doesn't mean he's broke. You feel me? He could have, he could have did, he could have did that because you feel me? You never know. Maybe his kid or somebody asked him, "Hey, you can get me a phone for my birthday or something." Like I don't know what made him get the phone, but I'm just saying. You feel me? And he probably told one of the, whoever asked him, "I." You feel me? It was like, he probably told him like, "Yeah, I got you." You see what I'm saying? And he ended up, you know, chalking it. And you feel me? Y'all gotta act like y'all. Y'all gotta act like y'all ain't never stole like y'all don't gotta act like that like y'all ain't never stole before or talked something so you feel me i feel like he i don't feel like he, he was just stealing to be stealing you feel me and he said man if you ain't if you ain't never been in my shoes you don't know how i feel so what i'm saying is you probably don't know what he was going through of what made him steal that phone like i don't think he just woke up and just decide like i'm gonna go steal a phone today like you see what i'm saying you feel me so um he came out he apologized for it and stuff like that you feel me and and he even asked he even asked his supporters like should i return it most of us most of everybody said no <laughs> like you feel me so they looked at it like oh well you got it it's yours now like and then that's what i'm saying so like these companies that be having phones and um be having all that and people be stealing from out of these stores and stuff like that they all they get shipments like every other week and i know for a fact because i deliver stuff like that so it's like okay he stole that phone right he stole that phone but me a person like me i bring another phone to him uh not to him but um to the store like in like two days or like next week so it's not like they missing anything you feel me they just missing that one product for that day you see what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> um, I really don't, I really don't blame him for stealing it because our phones cost an arm and a leg nowadays. It almost costs a mortgage, a house. You feel me? Like, our phones, damn near $1,500. That's people rent nowadays. So, like, him stealing the phone, I, I don't blame him. I, I don't blame him. And it'd be people... It be people that be having money that is still still because they don't want to pay that much money for something like that. I know in the hell I'm not paying no I'm not paying no fifteen hundred dollars for no damn phone. I'm just not doing it. You feel me? And like that's why I don't even see how I don't even you feel me. I don't even see how rich people be paying paying like. I don't see how rich people be paying like eight hundred dollars for a shirt just because you rich because you got like they be paying eight hundred dollars for a shirt. You feel me? You paying for a name, but anyway, so like y'all can't really too much bash my man's. You feel me? He apologized for it, so he admitted that he was wrong, and he told the kids, "Don't try this at home." So kids, do not go stealing. You feel me? He never, he ain't, he ain't make no excuse for himself. 
or nothing. You feel me? He owned up to it. So it is, it is what it is. And he put the he put the video out. He put the video out for himself. So like I say, man, I really don't blame him. Like I don't blame him because we all done talked something before. We all done stole something before. Ain't nobody perfect, man. Ain't nobody perfect. You never know nobody's situation of why they doing something, why they doing what they doing. You feel me? Like I said, I don't think he just woke up and just decide, yeah, I'm about to go steal a phone today. Like, you feel me? You never know. You feel me? You never know. Somebody could have probably asked, asked him for an iPhone for uh, a gift. You feel me? You never know. Somebody said, hey, man, you, you never know. His nieces, nephews, his sons, or somebody probably could have asked him. Like, you could give me an iPhone for my birthday or something like that. You never know. So he probably just was like, man, I got you. And you probably he probably one of them people that like keep his word. You feel me? If if you ask him to do something, he probably one of the types to keep his word and make sure you get what you want, what you ask for. So you feel me like that? Like, I don't like I'm, I'm I really don't think he just went in there to steal a phone, like just to do it. Like, I don't I don't believe he just went in there just to do it now you got some people that uh do it just to do it but i don't think crisco just went in there and just was like yeah i'm just gonna steal a phone you feel me i just feel like he was doing it for somebody and was just trying to make somebody else happy and if you you feel me and like and if if you ain't never stole before then okay that's cool bro but don't don't act like don't act like you better than somebody because that person got caught stealing don't act like you better than that person you feel me so like i said man i just really don't feel like he went in there on some other shit but it's y'all boy young kyle 216 i'm out